welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to share with you my current go-to makeup routine. This is something that I've been rocking for the past couple of weeks now. It kind of reminds me of like the 90s. Maybe it's the choker. I don't know. The dark lips. I'm definitely feeling it. I enjoy it. It's a light look. I will say that during the week going to work if I rock this look, which I've been doing a lot, I cut out the eyeliner. I don't think that you need to look like so sultry during the day, but I wanted to put it all together for you because I just love this look and I wanted to share it with you. So if you want to see how I get to this look every single day, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so here I am with a fresh clean face ready to start this routine up. I'm first going in with my Cetaphil Moisturizer. This is a skin facial moisturizer. It has SPF in it, that's why you're seeing that white residue, but I just make sure to really rub it in my face to get that white stuff out of here. Then I'm going in with the Tarte Poreless Primer. I've mentioned this primer before. It's $30 plus dollars. I believe the Monistat Chafing Cream that I've used in previous videos definitely is the dupe to this, but while I I have this bottle why not use it on up love the way it feels so silky next up is the fit me matte and poreless foundation I've done a review for this I will link that video down below I love this foundation it is my favorite one currently from the drugstore it definitely matches my skin really well and I love the finish on it it's just absolutely beautiful and now with my Real Techniques sponge, I just blend on in, pouncing it all over my face. I did a video for this Real Techniques sponge where I compared it to the Beauty Blender, and I definitely think that this sponge works just as good, if not better, than the Beauty Blender. So I will link that video down below too. Grab it if you haven't yet. Really like my song. Next up is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. I use the color 15, which is light, I believe. I always go in under my eyes, and I make sure to use a lighter color so we really brighten up that area. Do a strip down the nose, up below the forehead, or up above the forehead, and then we get the chin as well. And I go back in with my Beauty Blender to make sure to blend out all of that concealer. Once my concealer is nicely blended in, I'm going to set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder. As you can see, I hit pan. I love this line. It is affordable and it is just awesome. It works so well. I use it all the time. It never fails me. Now I'm bringing you really close up. I'm going to brush out my eyebrows to get them started and then I'm going in with the Flawless Brow Trio by BH Cosmetics. I use the middle light brown shade and I just go in and I basically define my eyebrows. I have them already shaped out and I wanted to show this fully because as you could see, I did go a little bit further than I should have at the tip of the arch and I do it right here with this guy too. Just watch and see, whoop, and that is just too far out. My eyebrow is not over there. But don't you worry, there is a way to fix that and you will see. With a flat brush with some extra concealer on it, I am just going and cleaning up anywhere like that streak. Next up, using this beautiful light peachy color all over my eyelid and I make sure to really pack it on. And then we have this brown transition color and I make sure to get it really nicely in the crease, making sure to go back and forth to blend it on in. Next up, I have this orangey color, orangey peachy color. I love it on the inside of the crease. I'm really liking my music today. 
So I really pack on these colors and now I'm going in with an even brighter orange color. And I love how that orange looks. I think it really, really makes this entire look come together. Next up, I'm using this Modster Black Eye Pencil. Now normally I go in with liquid eyeliner, but I had this lying around and I wanted to try it out. It worked out really well. I start my eyeliner making sure to get the eye first and then I go in for a wing. I didn't get the wing on camera, but you could see I clean it up just a bit with a Q-tip. Next up, I'm going to set my eyebrows with my Gimme Brow by Benefit and I'm just going to brush on in to my eyebrows to really set the hairs into place. Now for one of my favorite parts of my routine, I'm curling my eyelashes. Now I'm going in with L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara. This is a drugstore mascara. It works so well. I will bounce back and forth between high end and drugstore, but you can see it's so nice. And now this part is optional. I've just been getting into the lower lashes and starting to put mascara there. I normally don't do that, but I really do think it puts the eye together. I just think that you have to be careful and have a light hand with it. You don't want too much mascara down there. Now going in with Tara Bronzer, I've used this on my last full makeup look. I love this bronzer. It is beautiful. It has this sunny look. As you can see, I did a lot on my one side of the cheek, but I will make sure to blend that in. Hoola bronzer for my actual contour, really defining everywhere where I warmed up my face, over my forehead, above my cheekbones, making sure to get along the edge of my face and closing on in to show you how I contour my nose. I just go in with a angled brush and I use the Hoola bronzer. Now for my highlighter, today I'm going in with Cherimoya. I love this guy, it's TJ Maxx. Underneath my eyebrows, in my tear ducts, and of course, above my Cupid's bow. I just love this highlighter. So cute. So, so cute. Now I'm taking this orangey shade to make a beautiful blush. And like I said, a stippling brush to really blend everything in. Nothing will be harsh. That's what really pulls the look together. We really never want to skip that step. Now with the Brown Berry Bobbi Brown Art Stick, I am going in. This really puts this look together. I think between the blush, the eyeshadow, and this lip look, everything really comes into play. The last thing I like to do is just spray my face. Today I'm using a primer water just to really set everything in. It's not really a setting spray, but it feels so good. And there you have it, guys. I absolutely love this look, and I hope you do too. guys so that wraps up this video I hope you enjoy this look I love it I wear it almost every single day the colors are awesome it's definitely like a neutral look where you could totally wear with any color it doesn't keep you away from other colors which I absolutely love thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe you know the drill if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to click this button new video out every Wednesday until my next one bye guys